in this first example, guys, we're back to piecewise functions. Um, so just remember, guys, when you're looking at a graph in a piecewise function, on a graphing calculator, there isn't like that nice little thing that you just type it in, right? So you got to remember, what are we doing with piecewise functions? Piecewise function is basically taking into account both of these functions. So we have the x, absolute value of x plus 1, which we can graph in our graphing calculator. But we should be able to graph this very easily on our own. And we can graph the equation negative 1. We could also do this in our calc We could also graph that in our calculator. But I think I can do this rather quickly. Remember, guys, this is the v-shaped graph. right? And then we have it negative 1. So those are the two graphs. right? So the v-shaped graph just being shifted one unit to the left, right? transformations. And then y equals negative 1 is the other graph, which is just a horizontal line, which we've been pretty familiar with now uh, when we did the conics. So now we've got to look at the constraints. The constraints here is a graph this function for all values except x cannot equal 3. So then we say, well, where is 3? 1, 2, 3. Right there, it can't equal whatever that function value is. We need to put a hole there. Right? So it equals all values, all values on the domain except for 3. Then we go look at negative 1. And it says this function is only true at when x is equal to 3. So then the rest of the graph is, no law, is not defined. So we just erase. So that is what our graph looks like. Then we ask ourselves the question, is that graph continuous or not? No. So we say no. And therefore, to describe the continuity, we say that is, is a whole. Right.